All right, guys, here's the Breda PX4 Storm. Just picked this thing up a couple hours ago. So uh, we're going to do an unboxing. I don't, uh, I'll do a teardown at some point, but uh, this is the first time the box has been opened, so, you know, I'm not going to mess with it any. Um, so here goes. Um, first thing, take it out of the, uh, I guess it's like a little cardboard box. Uh, you have a nice big, um, you know, hard protective case here so nothing gets beat up or anything. So here's what's in it. Um, first, you have your pistol, which everything's good. Magazine's empty. Um, let's see here. So we have the pistol and the magazine. Then uh, next here is there's two of these that come additional to the to the gun. Um, you can change out the back straps on it and change out the thickness, um, whatnot. Whichever one fits your uh, hand the best, uh, change it to your liking. Um, I don't know what this could be. Um, maybe this is, maybe you can put your patches down in there and soak them in solvent and cleaner and all that. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not, to, I'm not really sure what that is, to be honest. Um, next, we have another magazine. And this one looks, um, actually, yeah, it's, uh, it holds one less round. So this one's like a high capacity. And this one's uh, more more sleek to the bottom of the pistol. See, it sits uh, smooth right there. And this one holds one extra round, but it kind of sticks out. So I guess it's personal preference. It comes with the high-capacity one already installed when you bring it out of the box. Um, then you have a speed loader, which I'll have to read on how to use this. But I'm assuming you put it on there like that and put a round in there and then just kind of push it down in there. I'm not really sure. I have to read on it. Um, here is uh, your Beretta gun lock. Read uh, contains California certified lock. Well, that's special. Um, um, I guess you guys ain't going to have any excuse to not clean your guns anymore because this gun comes with its own uh, little pouch, cleaning, cleaning rod, and uh, two different sizes of uh, brushes. So uh, no more excuses for a dirty gun. Um, here you have a uh, nice big thick manual here, about like half an inch thick. <laughs> um, all different languages, so that's probably why it's all thick. Um, uh, Commonwealth of Massachusetts regulations C940 CMR 16 handgun handgun sales regulations, whatever that is. I don't live in Massachusetts, so uh, that's none of my worries. And here is, oh uh, man, this isn't even in English. This is all French or whatever you want to call it. I guess it'd be French. And here is, I believe this is French too. Yep, this is all French, so. Yep, I don't know what any of that says. Only thing I can read on there is Beretta, so. There's the Beretta PX4 Storm, and here comes the Seiko A7 that we got in today, Dolls. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna do the review on the Seiko A7 here. Um, I had to move to a different spot because of the place that I normally do reviews. Uh, I couldn't get the camera high enough without hitting the ceiling, so I just moved down here to the floor so that way y'all could see the entire box and not just a little portion of it. Um, so, first of all, um, it says made in Finland, so you know it's a good Seiko. Um, so that's basically all it's on the outside of the box. Here on the inside, I'll go ahead and pull the little foam spacer blocks out, so I ain't gotta worry about those. Here you just have a manual, and I believe, yeah, it has a basic safety rules little pamphlet on the inside of the manual. Then you have in this little bag, you have an Allen key to install, maybe it doesn't install these, alright. I'm not really sure what the Allen key is for. I know you get two of these little uh, sling adapters so that way you can go from the little round, round ones with the hole to the actual ones where you can actually uh, strap them on. So you have two of those and an Allen key and then you have this big black thing which um, I really have no clue what it's for. 
which I will read in the manual and find out what that is for for y'all. Get back to y'all. I'll post it in the comments as soon as I find out what it is. All right, next you have your bolt here. Everything, everything on this gun is nicely wrapped. Um, this is probably one of the most. Uh, it looks really well built, uh, and it is extremely light. It's probably the lightest bolt we have on any of our rifles that we own. Oh man, this thing's sweet. But um, so there's your bolt. Uh, before I go ahead and pull out the gun, you just have a uh, Seiko red gun lock. Uh, just like every other weapon in America that comes out has one. And so here is the gun. This is probably, well, this is the nicest rifle we own right now. And I absolutely love this thing. It's sweet. Alright, um, comes with a little thing under the barrel right there. You can slide it out. Basically, it's just showing that it's floated. And also, it says remove this before shooting. It's just a little shipping thing. Um, go ahead and pop the bolt in for y'all. Oh man. Figure out how this sucker goes in. Hmm. There we go. Alright, here we go. This is our Seiko A7 right here. If y'all can see that, it's got a really nice finish on it. It's green and it's kind of got like almost a paint splatter black. Uh, black spattered onto it. Um, the magazine is really awesome. It's super light. It takes a little bit of a, it'll take you a little while to learn how to get the magazine out, but this thing is absolutely tiny. It, it's the skinniest magazine on any of the rifles we have. And it's really, it's just, it's a really awesome gun. And uh, as y'all can see, the barrel is fluted. It's not got any twist to it, but it's, re it's really nice. Um, the bolt is absolutely, as you can see, the bolt is all the way out and there is almost no movement with the bolt all the way out. It's a really smooth, you know, it's, I can do that with one finger. It's really smooth, really awesome. Nice little safety on the side. Probably could get a little bit more higher quality uh, safety on this gun, but I don't know if you don't see it, but it's kind of like a, Oh, man, I can't even think of what name brand that is that has a safety like that also, but you know, it's just kind of a little cheap slide back and forth, but you know, nothing to complain about. It works. Um, really nice buttstock, stainless steel sling adapters. It says uh, Seiko, uh, Seiko, Seiko A7 Tecamate on the bottom of the stock. On the, uh, little butt plate there. Not butt plate, but uh, you know. Anyways, Really sweet gun. This is chambered in the 300 short mag, which you can only get this in the 300 short mag or the 270 short mag. We opted for the 300. Um, let's see if there's anything else here in the box, which I don't believe there is, but I'm going to check. Right there, that's pretty much it. That's what comes in the box. You get your gun, the manual, and some extra little parts there in the lock, but this is a really sweet gun at first uh, first glance. We'll get to shoot this thing as soon as we get the scopes in for these uh, for this. Uh, we're either going to do a Burris uh, electronic with the uh, kind of built-in rangefinder or we're going to put a Z 72 millimeter uh, objective lens one. One of the, um, shoot, it's a something FL. It's a Z, Z something FL with the 72 millimeter objective lens and um, so this is a really sweet gun. Uh, Tika T3 300 Win Mag is going to be coming in here within the next week or so. So stay tuned, subscribe, rate, comment. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.